I'm being like the tree frog that always makes me talk really loud over it when we film videos outside. <laughs> Just do your best, then forget the rest now. Just do Whoa, your best. Whoa, these moves might not <laughs> be PG. <laughs> then forget the rest now. Don't worry, YouTube, it's PG. The friends, I have lost 130 pounds and kept it off for six years and so has my sassy boy behind the camera. And so has that tree frog. Apparently the tree frog did too because he's really loud right now. So during that time at the beginning of our journey, we tried many forms of cardio until we found the best one for us. In this video, I'm going to tell you the best cardio for fat loss. First, I'm gonna go through the ones that I tried that didn't work, and then I'm gonna share with you what actually worked and help me lose the weight and keep it off. So, first, on paper, HIT looks the best. High intensity interval training. It's where you do short intense bursts of exercise, and then you do a little less intensity, and then you keep going, and it's supposed to help you burn a lot of calories in that time and even burn calories after. However, at my heaviest weight when I tried it, I was 275 pounds. Trying to go super intense at that weight when I had massive health problems like plantar fasciitis really, really badly where I could barely walk, it was very difficult. Most of the time during the intense periods, I spent resting because I wasn't fit enough to do the intense exercise. And then I would usually end up injuring myself because I wasn't fit enough to do it. And then by the end of it, I wouldn't feel like doing it for a few days because one, I'd be injured, and two, I would be so exhausted because I wasn't fit enough and I would end up just wanting to stay on the couch all day. So it ended up being counterproductive because it, fit, it actually affected my NEAT calories, which are calories you burn outside of exercise. So taking the stairs, doing your chores, standing instead of sitting, all of those burn calories, but I didn't feel like doing any of that when on a day that I didn't do HIIT, I would do way more and burn way more neat calories. So I realized HIIT wasn't sustainable for me. And if it works for somebody and they, they're fit enough to do it, that is awesome. You gotta do what works for you and something that you like that's sustainable. Now there's an airplane and there's a tree frog. <laughs> Bear with me here. I'm gonna try to catch him on the zoom action. Get it on the zoom action. Where are you gone already? Come on, plane. You wanna be in the video. <laughs> and then you hide when we try to get you. <laughs> so I realized HIT was not for me. It wasn't sustainable. So then I started trying some other things. This tree frog really wants to do the video. <laughs> I tried P90X, Insanity. I tried jump rope. I tried, um, there's like this turbo jam thing. George St. Pierre's George Saint workout Pierre. tapes. However, all of them, I wasn't fit enough to do it. And I ended up, at the end of the day, I wouldn't want to do it again because I didn't enjoy it. Two, I was so exhausted, I could only end up doing it once a week. And insanity, trying insanity at 275 pounds, I actually felt like I was gonna be sick to my stomach. That's how, out of shape I was and, and it just didn't work. So after all of that, finally realized, one, I was doing things that I, it was just counterproductive because I wasn't in shape enough to do it. Second, I thought I could outwork or work off all the calories I was eating without looking at my diet. So I decided the only thing that I can sort of do right now at this weight is walk and I have to look at my diet. So I started portioning out my food to get into a calorie deficit. I couldn't count calories at the time, it was too overwhelming. So I started using the backs of packages, using the serving sizes to portion out my food. 
Then I combined it with walking. And at first with plantar fasciitis really bad, I could only do five to 15 minutes. And Kyle and I made a pact to do it every single day and just do our best. Moving our body at a steady state, it was low intensity. We had to take a lot of breaks in the beginning. Some days we only did five minutes, but the point was we got out there. That walking like that was enjoyable and it was sustainable. At our size, Kyle was 375 pounds. We could actually do it. So because we were able to do it, we fulfilled our pact. Every day we got out there. And because we had so much weight to lose, we actually lost 50 pounds in three months by walking and doing portion control. And then our stamina built and we were able to go 30 to 45 minutes every single day. Yeah, in the beginning um, it was like five to 15 minutes every day until we lost the weight, like yeah. 50 pounds. After we lost 50 pounds, our stamina increased and we were able to do stuff like go up the stairs without being out of breath, bend over and tie our shoes, go for a bit of a longer walk. And it was so sustainable that we did that, lost 130 pounds, we've kept it off for six years, and we've walked ever since. And now, we're getting in the best shape of our life. I am fitting into my first size smalls and first size fives ever. So the low and intensity steady state walking still enjoyable. works, and still it's works. the most effective thing that me and Nicole have found. And we built up, because we did it for so long, and we kept the weight off, and we loved it, and we loved our food, We've been able to now do more cardio and we love it. It's a part of our life now. And we literally just go for an enjoyable walk. Your, our heart rate is up. We're breathing a little bit heavy, but we can hold a conversation just like this. And it's sustainable. We want to do it. It feels like a part of our life now. So for us, that is the best form of fat loss. The best form of cardio for fat loss for us is walking at a low intensity, low steady intensity, state. steady state. <laughs> and my suggestion is do whatever works for you, whatever you enjoy that is sustainable. And if you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, check out our two weight loss guides down below. We have exact portions, exact meal plans, family friendly recipes. It's all in there. Check it out or watch these two videos for free to see how you can walk and love your food. We love, we love it that we're starting to get the trend of walking and taking care of yourself in a sensible way, starting to be popular. Yes, so pass it on the friends. Walking is beautiful. We love you. Hope you enjoyed this video. That was a blow your kiss. And ooh, one more. Oh, oh, drop the phone, guys. One, two, three. <laughs> one more out. You can't stop. You're going to shake your bean. PG for YouTube. This is a bean. Oh, my goodness. I shake so much. My bow on, dude. One, can't two, show that on YouTube. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We love you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Goodbye. <laughs> now the tree frog stops. <laughs> as soon as we're done. That's life for you. It's life. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.